Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miguel Garcia and today we are going to be grooming Simba. It's his first time that uh, he is actually getting bathed or groomed in a place like this. Uh, so we are going to be doing it. I just want you to all to meet him. Let me show you. We are basically aiming for a full groom. But if he doesn't allow us, we're not going to stress him out. We're just going to go for um, a maintenance. And look at the kitty. ta -da! It's like, where is this? Hi, Simba. Hi, Simba. So basically what we're going to be doing. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. So what we're going to be doing is we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna start with the nails. We're gonna clip the nails. Hi Simba, how you doing? Um, so just to prevent any um, attacks or anything, if he does attack me, he won't be, uh, he won't have the, the nails like super long. So I'm just gonna go and uh, clip the nails first. I have this um, clipper. You don't have to use this one. Um, or anything of the um, tools that I'm gonna be showing you here is just for demonstration purposes. By the way, this is a disclaimer. Uh, this is not a pay video, not a um, whatever, you know, that nobody's paying me to do any of these videos. None of the brands that I'm gonna be showing here are paying me or collaborating me in any ways. And this is just me showing you how to groom a cat, All right? So that being said, let's get started. I am Miguel Garcia and I enjoy helping the well-groomed and well-dressed puppies. Join me as we explore a new world of love, quality, craftsmanship and traditions. Okay, so I am, now that we are here, I am ready for the nails. So we're going to start, we're going to grab, as you can see from the back, and we're going to clip the nails. He doesn't have them that long. It's okay, baby. I'm just removing the tip. Okay. The mom, um, his mom was telling me that um, he was based in um, Colombia already. He comes from Colombia. And that he was introduced to the grooming there. So um, as you can see, I'm scratching his back. I'm trying to go friendly. I'm not trying to do like moves like super fast or aggressive. Um, just taking my time. This now is short. Okay. Let me see. And then I'm going to move into this side. I'm going to try to get his uh, toenail. You don't have to um, stress them out. If you can't uh, groom him all at once, it's okay. Uh, just create a routine. Let me just double check. Okay, so always make sure that you check all your, your kitty's body and everything else, um, just to make sure that there's not uh, any kind of like uh, fleas or any other unwanted visitors on your cat. And um, check the neck, check the ears. All right, the belly. Yeah, dokie. So it's gonna be, uh, it's time for his bath. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are. I am making uh, sure my cat is secure and has some kind of like security around his body or neck. Um, this is the quick release uh, strap that I am using on his neck as I am waiting once again this was his first time and i didn't know how he was gonna react and you know i just uh i'm fast forwarding so it was not like this uh when i was 
it was not as as fast uh when i was beating him now i'm putting water on his eyes like around his eyes so i can soften all the gunky stuff see he's cute he's friendly he's nice but obviously i can't put the um the hose on the face with the water because then uh, obviously you are going to um, try to kill the cat and we are trying to keep him calm uh, we are not trying to do any harm or anything like that this is just like regular grooming so um i am making sure that he's completely wet i'm using my giraffe uh, blue shampoo by the way this is not a sponsor video i have to um make the clear nobody's paying me none of the products that i'm showing here it's um like sponsoring or working with me or anything um so it's just me like showing you how to groom your cat gonna add some more shampoo and here we go i love this shampoo because actually it degreases your cat very well and um well, I just love it. The smell is also really, uh, really nice. It's, it's soft. It's not like crazy strong. That's another thing that I always, you always have to be careful with because you don't want to use um, shampoos or products that have a lot of uh, perfume. And they're just like masking the smells and not cleaning. And this is the this shampoo actually cleans and uh, removes the smell and adds some really fresh smell. That smell like clean. I'm using a different kind of shampoo. This is um, from the same company. And uh, this one smells like herbs. It's, um, I already used our degreaser as the first, you know, the shampoo, which is the bluey one. And then I'm using the green one. It smells really nice. Um, I just love it. He, he actually cleans completely the um, hair. You have to make sure that you clean, clean, clean. rinse it out it might look like the water is strong but actually it's like imagine you when you i don't know if you have ever gotten uh, a hydro massage you know how it feels like when you know when you're getting the massage well basically um that's something that i invested on my um on my bathing system because he actually helped me a lot he actually rinses quick quick quicker and um you know washes the um the all the dirt away now i'm using a conditioner or uh, cream rinse just to make sure that i don't um have like dry hair or you know like i'm not causing anything it's just a second and then we're going to rinse he's like no i don't think so fwa, fwa. <laughs> It is very important that you see how I'm not spraying the cat's face. I'm just going around the um, the neck and the area because I know people that say, it's like, oh, my cat will kill me. Obviously, if you are spraying the cat's face, of course, imagine if you someone is spraying your face and you can't breathe, you're going to defend yourself. Make sure you clean all the um, neck area, the belly, the pads, the paws, whatever you call it the um the high knees and everything make sure that you clean that and you see one of the things that i, that I like about the shampoo also is that it actually 
uh, rinses out very fast. Okay, I'm using some more water around his eyes, making sure that there's not um, soap left or, you know, the shampoo. Cleaning in between the eyes. By the way, if you haven't watched my video about um, how to remove the tear stain, watch it. It's really nice and it's right above. Time to dry my cat. We're going to go with the face slowly but surely. And then we are going to wrap the kitty. This part is self-explanatory. I'm using a dryer and as you can see, well, I'm going to dry the cat. So I'm just fast forwarding all this. So just watch it.
Okay, so my cat is dry. I'm throwing the towel and we're going to start to brush, making sure there's not knots or anything that will stop the um, clipper I'm brushing the tail. And as you can see, he's like fluffier than before. <clears throat> okay, so he's bathed and dry and fluff, which it was one of the things that um, I was using the, um, the cream, the rinse cream for um, to obtain or to get this fluffiness. Uh, so it's easier. I use, I did use the first shampoo to uh, the blue one to remove all the grease. That's a degreaser. Then I use the um, all uh, natural herbs shampoo, which smells really nice and also cleans as a second shampoo. And then I use the um, the rings. Uh, sometimes in cases when they're only coming for baths and they want to um, add some uh, colors or or highlights or or lighten or remove stains uh, from the hair then we use different products so but this in this case that's what i have used uh i am going to use my um hand clipper and i'm going to clean the pads just like so super easy not getting too intrusive in between the fingers or the toes but you know just cleaning um the pads so when they go to the uh, backs they use their glitter bags they don't get like uh, all the sun in the in the pads and then they will bring bring in all the uh dirty names earrings and sun out of the bags okay so that's it i um the tail the mom wanted me to uh shave the tail and i was like no that's that's the main reason, you know, we go through all this. So uh, I'm gonna do that. And then right now I am going to be using my clipper vacuum and I am gonna be using the uh, comb attachment number one. Um, I will be leaving the link below. By the way, if you haven't watched my other videos about how to remove the deer stain, I'm going to leave the uh, link right here so you all can see it or right here somewhere so you all can see it if you want to uh, learn how to remove the tear stain he doesn't have it but sometimes you know like cats has it or have it so you can watch it and let's get it on
We're almost done and just watch. I love the um, clipper vacuum because basically you don't have to um, be changing the blades because it since it has the uh, suction well actually it cools off the, um, the blade so you don't have to worry about that. Now I'm doing the sanitary. I'm lucky he's very cooperative to be his first time with me, obviously. fabulous he is looking like a fabulous kitten that he is now i'm gonna go with my chunkers and then we are going to define the face which is what we need to do now and then we're gonna do the tail so i am using the comb that i used previously see and we're going to be defining the face um you guys need to be very careful with this because um you don't want to cut the whiskers so you might want to keep them away all the time. And we are going to go a little by little with my um, pinny shares. Removing all the extra hair that we want to remove so we can give them a rounder face. So you can see I'm moving the uh, whiskers and the ear, the ear goes to the back. Okay. It's looking rounder. Round face kitten. I have to do this side now.
it is important that when you are moving the whiskers or um, holding the face, don't cover the nose because then you're not letting them breathe. And that's, that's when also when they get freaked out. Look at this kitty. He is super handsome. I'm gonna try to do this side. Wait. Just like so. Now we have to do the front legs. For these, I'm going to be using my curve shears. And like I said before, this is not a um, collaboration, nor a, a sponsor video or anything like that. If you want to do a collaboration or anything like that, send me an email. The email is um, at the um, in the um, instruction box. So let me know. Also, if you have a cat or kitten to be groomed, uh, send me a DM for rates and prices and you know requirements, appointments, and so forth. Or you can shoot me an email. You can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So you all can stay in touch with me. Also, if you have any questions about this grooming or any other um, things that you want me to do or review, please leave, it, leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. So we can stay in touch. <sighs> Hit also the notification bell. So you can get notified every time I post any video. I'm using my teeny shares right now. Just removing the um, extra hairs here and there. These are my curves. Let me see on the back. I haven't cleaned the ears. We're gonna do it in a moment. And the kitten is done. Basically, we are getting to the end. We're also going to be doing pictures. Remember, when you are doing this, you're going to fluff the tail. You're not going to go just like with the comb and just like slide it out. 
the yank the hair we are going to fluff it just to make sure the tail is nice and fluffy With my teeny shears, we're gonna go and we're gonna trim. All those like super long hairs that are sticking out. The tail is not meant to be cut even. Um, it's just to be fluffy and round. So I'm just following the uh, natural lines of his tail so he can His hair should be back in no time not least we're gonna need a hemostat we're gonna need cotton balls and uh, the liquid that we're gonna shake very well to clean the ears and the way that we're gonna do it is we're gonna grab a cotton ball we're gonna put the tip to cover it and we're gonna squirt some of the liquid make sure that your liquid is for cats uh, do not use never ever ever products that are meant for your to use on dogs because sometimes they have essential oils that can kill your cat and then we're gonna throw this one we already uh, within one ear we're gonna throw it because you can't use uh, the same cotton ball to clean one another because you can in case that he's getting infection you can get uh, cross contaminations which is the case of his he's got infection in one ear he's been treated but we gonna we want it uh just you know keep it that way see i know it's uncomfortable for you Mm 
There you go. So basically what we're doing is uh, we are reaching out to um, the dirtiest part. And obviously he is feeling uncomfortable. It's not hemostat. What is it called? Well, those scissors, well, those things that are... If you know how those things are called, let me know. Write it in the comments. All right, so Mr. Kitty is done. All he needs is a bow that we're gonna be doing now. And if you wanna see how the bows are done, click on the, uh, here or here somewhere. Just uh, click on the link and it will take you directly to be, um, to the video that actually I'm showing how to do the, the bows. Till next time, and don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Say bye, baby. Bye.